Hi, I'm Tom and in this Revit tutorial I will show you how to use the integrated PDF export in Revit. It's important that you have Revit 2022 or later because this is the new feature of the Revit 2022 release. It's a great new feature which will help a lot of people and it will help because uh, it's the functionality is uh, very extensive and also when you have problem with PDF export before you didn't know whether it's the problem with the PDF printer or if it's problem with Revit and now when it's integrated you will know where to search for problems. I will explain how this tool works on a simple project where I have three sheets which I will be printing and let's start with printing a simple sheet or printing exporting to PDF. I've got this sheet so I go to file export and I want to export to PDF and this opens the export PDF window and here it's important that I'm just selecting now the current window so I will print just this sheet also the file name automatically the file name is name of the RVT file and where it will be saved by default it's saved into documents here so that's okay another thing you need to set up is the size of the sheet and with this PDF export it's actually quite easy because you set it up to use the sheet size and Revit will automatically use the sheet size uh, to export the PDF so you don't have to switch to zoom or fit to page because it will work the same Revit will create the PDF of the size of the sheet so you have to have your sheet set up properly what you set up next is the appearance whether the raster quality is high medium low if it's colored or not and then uh, output whether you are using vector output or raster output I recommend using the vector output because it's more precise and uh, the prints are better okay so the default setup for printing one sheet you can actually use it as it is and you hit export and then when we take a look at our documents folder you can see the new PDF file here when I open it you can see it's printed out properly so this is really nice let's explore more options actually I assigned the keyboard shortcut PD to export the PDF you can check out my tutorial on assigning keyboard shortcuts so I will not go through file export and PDF all the time I will use keyboard shortcut PD and it starts the PDF export and when I export this sheet it asks me if I want to override the original file I will say yes because this is a 3d view it's telling me that the raster processing has been used for this view this warning will show up all the time this was showing also previously in the in the print when you were printing into printer or with external print PDF but you could say not to not show this warning but the with this internal export it will show all the time when there's raster processing use so we just have to ignore this warning and when we take a look at the exported sheet it looks properly again let's take a look at my third sheet which is schedule and it's a different size and it's different orientation and if i export this one to pdf again i will overwrite the the file you can see that the size and the orientation is again properly adjusted to what I what I have set up in my sheet usually or sometimes it depends on your workflow you want to have multiple sheets exported into one PDF so instead of current window you will go to select views sheets and we will click this uh, this icon and this opens the selection of views and sheets and there are all of the views and sheets here and instead of multiple we can just show our sheets so the selection is easier and now we can either select one by one or uh, you can you can check here and select all 
these two these three buttons are kind of confusing this select should be okay instead of uh, instead of select so you don't have to save you can just click select and it's it's selected okay so that's uh kind of confusing and not consistent with consistent with other uh, revit menus and now when we export to this file and we override the original file again we take a look at the exported file you can see that it's one uh, pdf and it has got multiple pages in it and the orientation and the size of the paper uh, the size of the sheets doesn't have to be the same in all of the in all of the all of the sheets so this is very useful some of the external pdf printers weren't able to do this and you had to print this sheet on a different pdf than these two which are the same size so very useful you can see the warning here again we will just ignore it when we open up the pdf export again when we exported the pdf now it's again in the def default uh, setup so we can actually save the export setup so when we select the views sheets we can select them we selected them all and now we can save this as uh, all sheets and we could return to this setup whenever we want it. We can also create setups, as many setups as we want. So we can actually, we can disable the schedule. Now you can see here that we've got hide unchecked views sheets here. So the, it disappeared here. If we wanted to edit again, we uncheck this and we can check again here. Okay we can again save these and they are the same as when we save it from the print dialog box so uh, we have to save it all sheets all sheets uh, let's do one two three save and select this selection of views of and sheets this dialog it's kind of problematic when you want to select more than several uh, sheets because you cannot shift select or drag select you have to select each one by one okay so if you have a lot of sheets this is not very practical but I recommend to not do it here but to start standard print command and create the, the list of sheets from here so when we go to select views sheets and we go select I can here shift select and click all of them and I can save as and I can save as all sheets and view okay now it's saved and I don't have to print here and if I start the export PDF dialog I can select views sheets and I can select all sheets and views from here and it's already checked so you don't have to check each one by one here and when I export it will take a while and it will actually export all of the sheets and views you can see the file here and here are all the views and now here are the here are the sheets unfortunately it's uh, not possible for us to connect selected sheets with the exported file name so i would organize it if i wanted to have all sheets and then uh, all sheets without without schedule and here I unclick the schedule and save and select even if I saved multiple export setups here I wouldn't be able to connect them with the export range this part 
is independent of this part. When I want to print all sheets, I have to select them. I have all sheets here and I export it into, into the file. And you can see that all of my sheets are exported here. And if I wanted to have a different file with which would be without schedule and with a different name, I have to rename it here without schedule and export. Then you can see here that it's exported without schedule, which is proper, but I had to name it by hand and if I start again the export here the original name of the old sheets is here the name reverts back to the name of the of the file it's not uh, saved in the export setup which I think it should be but it's currently not working like this now if you want to export uh, each sheet on separate PDF file in the export setup you will unclick this combine selected views into single pdf you will unclick and here in the file name it uh, it's it uh, is set up like this you will select all sheets not without schedule and when we export revit exports each file each, each sheet into separate file so this is just one file and again this is just one file and the naming is set up as type and then the sheet name and we can actually change the naming properly as we want so the naming here you can see it's the file type and view name and we will change it here and instead of the type i don't want to have it in the name of the pdf so i will remove the parameter view name is okay and i would like to have first the project name so in the parameter type from views i will select project information and i will i will uh, use the project name and i will use it as the first one the separator is here and then I will also want to, in front of view name, I will want to have the, the uh, sheet number. So I will use this one. And I will again move it up. And here are the separators behind the project name and behind the sheet number. So this looks okay. When I hit export, um, now I didn't save the export setup, but I don't, I don't have to use the use the use i don't have to save it but now it's telling me the naming rule cannot be applied to the selected views or sheets i will use parameter name for the missing values i will show you what the problem is and here you can see that this is what we exported now this is the project name this is the sheet number and this is the sheet name why is it not why is it not specifying the sheet number this is kind of a little problem here when we uh, use the use the export and we change we go to the naming rules the sheet number here from the default parameter types view is not working we have to remove this sheet number from the parameter type views and we have to select parameter type sheets and here we can have the sheet number not the view number okay let's put it up here okay export i don't want to save this one and now when we take a look at the oh i i exported just one sheet so i will delete these and if I go to export, I will select all sheets. Now it's project name, sheet number, and view name. I will export. And you can see that it's naming my sheets properly A303, A304, A305. So this is, I think, 
little mm, little problematic but you have to be careful about the naming of the the naming of the sheet the last thing that i will show you is when you want to print just part of the sheet you know quick and dirty you zoom in on the let's say this elevation that i want to export into pdf i start the pdf export and i select instead of current windows i select visible portion of current window and now i have to set up the page size so let's say i will use iso a3 orientation i can set up to automatic i can uh, here because it's quick and dirty i will select fit to page and then it's not uh, exported to scale but that's no problem here placement to the center and let's export let's uncheck this one view let's export i don't want to save this and here you can see my one view export and the pdf is like this it's quick and dirty way to export into pdf so this is quick walkthrough of the new export to pdf uh, functionality of revit it's very useful uh, and now you don't have a problem then of selecting some external pdf export the few enhancements that i would make would be to be able to save in the export setup save the file name that would be quite nice and also if you could link the export setup to the selected views and sheets because if i select all sheets here again i have to select here all sheets again yeah so that would be quite useful but this pdf export looks quite uh, looks quite promising i will be using it a lot and um, thank you to Autodesk and Autodesk engineers who worked on this because I think it was long overdue to have this functionality in Revit. If this tutorial helped you, smash that like button and take care.